Hey everyone, Kaiser here. Thank you for stopping by for another video. I honestly wanted to make this the day it happened. I was just so busy between work and birthday parties. I just, I couldn't do it until now. Today we're diving into some major news that has shaken the emulation community. Ryujinx, one of the last standing Switch emulators, has fallen. It's not a good week for it's not a good year for emulation folks this is this is not okay earlier this week about two days ago gdk chan uh, the founder of ray jinx made an announcement basically nintendo gave them an offer that he couldn't refuse do with that with what you will Let's be honest here. We can't really blame them. It was either accept the money and shut it down or receive a DMCA in the near distant future. Stand proud, Ryujin's team. You fought the good fight and it was fucking awesome. We had a great time and we all appreciate it. Oh, thanks to Reddit, I was actually quickly notified of this situation. At the time that I saw the post, it was just barely hitting their one hour mark. It said um, a screenshot of one of the mod, of one of the moderators from uh, Ryujinx on Discord, was saying it's not a DMCA, so you know, no worries, no blah blah blah. And there was a lot of comments that said, "Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God!" Just you know, wait it out, wait it out. And I kept scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until I saw some new comments from like five or seven minutes ago. <clears throat> well, this post didn't age well. Well, rest in peace to Ryu Jinx. It was good while it lasted. And, you know, I just, that hit my heart. That hit my stomach. All of a sudden, I'm fucking going into the Discord trying to see what's up. And I see the message that they're talking about. Oh, my God. Let me bring this up real quick. Yesterday, GDK Channel was contacted by Nintendo and offered an agreement to stop working on the project remove the organization and all related assets he's in control of. While awaiting confirmation on whether he would take this agreement, the organization has been removed. So I think it's safe to say what the outcome is. Rather than leave you with the panic and speculation, I decided to write this short message to give some closure. Though these, sorry, these words are my own. I don't want to speak for anyone else here. So remember, so just remember that while we're reading, Thank you to everyone who has contributed the code, documentation, or issue reports to the Padre. Thank you all for all. Thank you all for following us throughout the development. I was able to learn a lot of really neat things about games that I love, enjoy them with renewed qualities, and in unique circumstances. I'm sure you all have experiences that are similar, similarly special. I'm extending my own massive thanks to our moderation team who has been there through thick and thin. Sorry, that did that, that not say that. <laughs> Who have been here through some rough circumstances and always found ways to make light of it. So, yep, I'm sure you've already seen it. I'm sure you've already heard it. This is, this is sad. This is just sad. So this news has sent shockeries across the emulation community. For years, while Eugene has been the go-to place for running Switch games on PC. But with the pressure from Nintendo, the project has had come to an abrupt end, and it's just, just sad. Now, some might, not some people may think, now why does this matter? No, oh, you're broke. Just get a switch. Ah, da 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 da. Why is it a big deal? Why can't I just get a job and get a Nintendo Switch so I can play their games? Nintendo has been very protective of its intellectual property. But shutting down Ryujinx raises a lot of concerns, just about the Switch emulation, but what this means for future emulators. Could this be the start of a trend where other projects like Dolphin, Simu, uh, PCXX2, MGBA, are we going to see similar consequences? This goes beyond, oh, we can't afford X, Y, and Z. Game preservation as a whole is about to sink deeper and deeper and deeper into the sea day by day and it is something frightening that is happening and most people don't even understand. The Switch I can only understand, but the Wii U, the 3DS, the GameCube, Nintendo offers no way for us to buy it from them 
We can't buy their old consoles from them. We can't buy their own games from them. Instead, we're expecting to get it secondhand, which means Nintendo doesn't see a, even a lick of the profit. They don't see a lick of the money. I can get a GameCube for 30 bucks off Amazon at my or at my local shop. But if I want to play, oh, I don't know, uh, Fantasy Stall Online 1 and 2, I'm going to have to cough about, like, what? $100, $200 for an old-ass game that nobody thinks about? And I can't stress enough that they won't see a penny of that. So what? I'll, I'll spend $230 and Nintendo won't see any of it, but that's okay. But when we give it to the devs of Sinu or something, now all of a sudden they're up in arms about it? That. What do you mean by that? So, what's the plan? What happens next? Are they about to make a shit ton of remasters or remakes? Are we going to see a paid version of the Dolphin emulator and the Switch 2 home store? Like, uh, what's going to happen? You know, maybe we can maybe we can buy, you know, the Dolphin or the GBA emulator and then we can just buy ROMs for you know, on the Nintendo store. I, I, I don't know. I'm just a conspiracy theorist, so don't pay me any mind. Well, who knows? Maybe they just don't want us to play their old games. They just want us to forget about everything that we grew up on. Maybe that's what they want. You know? Fuck nostalgia. Who knows? Here is where... I don't want to say it's un, not the unpopular opinion. Um, I think... We can all somewhat agree that maybe Switch emulation was a mistake. Can we get better FPS on them? Yes. Did a lot of us dump our actual game files onto our Steam Decks or PC? Yes. But that still doesn't make it right to an extent. On one hand, emulators help uh, preserve games for the future generations that never got a chance to play this. You know, it offers a way for people to experience titles that they might be uh, that they might be locked behind because of you know maybe it is expensive, maybe it's unavailable in their country. Sorry. Ooh. Some people had the Nintendo Switch but wanted to play on their PC, and that should be fine. But on the other hand, these emulators bring unwanted attention from companies like Nintendo. These emulators bring unwanted attention from companies like Nintendo, who have the legal power to shut them down, and that's the issue. With, with Switch still being in production and an active console, was it risky? Were we being a, were we, was it risky? Were we being a little bit too greedy? Yes. As the YouTuber and lawyer Bruce Rivers would say, stop self-snitching. Guess myself included. You know, you go to you go to the subreddit of uh of MU Deck or fucking Yuzu or or Steam Deck and you know everybody's showing off, hey, I'm playing my Switch games on my PC and it's like why did we self snitch like that? Damn it <laughs> Oh, just because you can doesn't mean you should, ladies and gentlemen, and we learned that the hard way in my opinion. I'm really stuck between uh, Switch emulation was a mistake, and maybe if we just kept it low-key, we'd be okay. But people wanted their five minutes of fame, they wanted to be cocky, they wanted to be edgy, and this was our downfall, let's be honest here. Before the great fall of Yuzu, people were open on Reddit about where they got X, Y, and Z from. We had discords for uh, Yuzu, um, Yuzu and Malu Jinx, uh, support channels, game, uh, in-game in-game screenshots we had support channels we had in-game screenshot channels just discussion channels it was just all out in the open and anyone could just go there and uh, it's it just feels like it was a mistake a very stupid stupid childish mistake that we probably could have avoided yeah uh. I, I feel like we all got some sort of high, some sort of thrill, trying to get over on the man. But we forgot we're just a bunch of hippies with little power, rather man. The devs are in the higher pot. Huh. The devs are in a higher power bracket than us. They're miles up. I don't know why we thought everything was going to be okay. Well, we looked at we looked at how they were dealing with emulation of older older consoles, older handhelds, 
you know that was okay because again they weren't getting money off of it but when we tried to throw the switch in the mix we were just playing with fucking fire and we should have realized that we really should have now when it comes to the future of emulation i'm not gonna lie i am actually worried I i'm worried for future emulation and i'm worried for the past emulation i don't I, I'm really scared that Nintendo's gonna be after Dolphin next, Simu next, PlayStation, Xbox. Like, well, I mean, I know, I know Nintendo doesn't control PlayStation and Xbox, but I mean, just what if they, what if the other companies see that, see Nintendo, Nintendo is showing off. They just got the patent for fucking mounts. You know how mounts is in so many open world video games, for them to get that patent is fucking crazy absolutely crazy because like i mean you really didn't have a mount until sword and shield unless you want to count like you know when uh when your pokemon you surfed or fly i guess if, but no you don't i can't really count that because it was just you didn't really get to control it or anything when they say mount they mean like you got on it and you went over the hill with it and blah 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 and you know if they can if they felt like they had enough power to make that type of pattern and then they run Yuzu, which was, which was obviously that was, that was a lost cause. But then they run Ryu Jinx too. Now PlayStation and Xbox is gonna feel like you know maybe, maybe they can maybe they can do something about that. You know I see Bloodborne is almost done for the PC. Looks great. I uh, I played it for the PS4. Loved it. I don't know why we don't have a port for PC or even for the PS5. Don't understand. But. Somebody's been uh, making the PlayStation, the PlayStation. Somebody's been making the PC port, and it looks good. But I'm really nervous that they're gonna slam that shit down. Uh, and I can't be the only one. I, I really can't be. There was there was something else that they that they were remaking from the ground up, and then they just told them a DMCA. What game was that? Shit. Uh. Mm. Maybe I'll edit this out. Maybe I'll keep this in there. We'll see. We'll see. Um, anyway, so the future of emulation, it really seems grim. It really does. It's a scary time for us uh, fans of game preservation. It honestly looks like the end of time. Emulator, emulators, emulation plays a crucial role in preserving gaming history. Without it, many older titles from obsolete consoles and handhelds would be gone forever, would be lost in time. However, with Ryujin's closure shows that there's a fine line between preserving games and threatening con and threatening current console markets. And companies like Nintendo doesn't really take this lightly and we knew this. Man, it's a, the Switch is a system that is actively making money. If a system is still actively making money do not make an emulator for it. That should have been common sense, but we thought, man, I don't know what we thought. Sometimes you just get on board of the hype train and you kind of stop thinking for yourself a little bit. I mean, I'm not blaming anyone. I'm a big girl. Um, but I, some of the gaming channels that I look up to, you know, they were pro emulation, pro switch emulation. You know, they dumped their own files and that made me look at my switch i have two switches by the way so yeah i have two so i have two i looked them both up my first one was actually a first gen switch and that made me feel like you know if, if he's pro if he's pro emulation i'm pro emulation he's making a lot of good points and good facts and i like that so you know what i i followed i followed the hype i got my switch i dumped my files damn sorry I guess I, I know, I, I guess I just got lost up in the hype, and you know, I, I, I thought if you can't beat them, join them. What I forgot for a moment is Nintendo will surely beat you and win, and uh, yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll make us come back. They'll, they'll make us uh, join the, they'll make us join their team. So in conclusion, the Switch emulator was a mistake. Maybe it was too soon especially with Nintendo's aggressive legal team. But no matter what, the future of emulation feels more uncertain than ever now. Let's hope that this is, let's hope that this isn't the beginning of a widespread crackdown. 
Uh, what do you think? Are you worried about the future of emulation? Do you even care about the future of emulation? Do you hate emulation? Let me know in the comments. I really appreciate you uh, stopping by and looking at this video, hearing me ramble, hearing me panic, um, and, uh, and hearing me uh, read very badly. That was great. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm. Uh, I want to get. I want to start. You know, sharing more gaming news more often. I, I mean, like I'm already seeing this shit day one in real time as it's happening. I just need to get on here, get a mic, just talk. Um, you know, maybe it's okay if I make a few videos at work or something. Cause you know, I could. I thought about it. I have a little mic that I keep with me, and I was gonna make my video at work two days ago, and I'm like, no, I want it professional, cause I want to edit this out. And ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you next time. Be safe, friends.